wave crashed the party. CTV's Joy Melbourne on the moment of impact. It happened in an instant. The usually calm Verde River became a raging wall of water, carrying mud, trees and debris left over from a wildfire, all of it barreling towards a popular swimming spot. Holy mackerel! The flash flood captured on cell phones, swimmers caught off guard, holding on to whatever they could. This video shows a man clinging to a tree. Trying to rescue this guy and his one-month-year-old baby. There's the son over there and the mom's in the water. Start where we found the last subject. Four people were rescued, but the search goes on, in the air and on the ground, in hopes of finding a father, 27-year-old Hector Garnica. Nine members of his family lost, his wife, who was celebrating a birthday, their children, the youngest, just two years old. So Miguel is my brother. He has to be found. They can't stop looking until he's found. The flooding was triggered by heavy rain and more violent than most. Police say they might have heard a roar, but by then, it was too late. The wall of water was about six feet high and about 40 feet wide when it come down the creek. Into the river. There was a weather warning, but the victims likely didn't even hear it. There's no cell service here. I feel so sorry for this family. My heart goes out to any of all of them, you know, anyone that's involved with this. It's just horrible. One of the deadliest flash floods in Arizona history, and there are more storms on the way. Joy Melvin, CTV News, Washington. A timely warning tonight from Health Canada about those wire bristle brushes used to clean barbecues. For the first time ever, the agency is doing a risk assessment.